Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Linda. Today we are working on a DIY rustic farmhouse fall pumpkin decor using mostly supplies from Dollar Tree. First up is pumpkin number one. What I'm starting with is one of these round ceramic home decor pieces from Dollar Tree. And since it's really smooth, I'm gonna spray paint it first in ultra matte spray paint. And then I'm gonna go over it in this Dixie Belle chalk paint drop cloth shade. That way it won't peel off the smooth ceramic surface. When I saw these, I thought, mm-hmm, these are pumpkins, because I was like, what do you do with these except sit them on a shelf? So we're gonna make it into something different. So we're gonna add a wood stem here, but as you can see, it's quite rocky. So I'm gonna use my drill here, and I'm just gonna just drill into it a little bit, kind of making a little indentation in here so it kind of fits over that pointy area on this ceramic piece. Once that's all done, I'm gonna add a Beacon Fabri-Tac glue we'll be working with today and set it on there and now it's all nice and stable. Going to be adding some sisal here right at the top and I've got some of this wire ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I just kind of cut off a little piece, twisted it. Some pit berries, you can get these at Dollar Tree or uh, I got mine at Hobby Lobby but some Dollar Trees have them now. This is orange uh, twine that is from Dollar Tree, just tying it into a little bow and adding it right in front here. These are wood leaves I got at Joann's. So I'm going to just tuck one of those right in here, adding a little more sisal on the front. And then this is wire rope, Dollar Tree, some of them have the wire rope. I had to get mine at Hobby Lobby. And this is some really thin twine, two together into a bow and just kind of spread the loops, glue it on. And this is some really pretty trim I got from Hobby Lobby. And then another little wood leaf. Uh, I know some Dollar Trees, ours did not get them in this year, have the wood stickers uh, of leaves and pumpkins. This is um, a printable. I've had them on the last couple of videos. It's a free printable on my blog. I'll make sure I link that for you. I cut out the heart shape to fit this wooden heart and then just gluing it right on top here. Now I'm sanding the edges here with a file. I'm going to show you here really quickly what you do. You can see how smooth it is. You just take your file and in a downward motion, go down just like this all the way around and it makes it all nice and smooth when it's done. Now I'm adding in some uh, lacy fabric that I've ripped apart. I'll show you that in an upcoming project here later on. You've seen it in a lot of my last videos. Here's a tiny, tiny clothespin from Dollar Tree. I'm just adding it onto this little wooden heart and glue this on, and this project is complete. Let's move on to pumpkin number two. So for this pumpkin, for the stem, I'm going to be using the wood part of a plunger and I cut off about oh, eight, nine inches or so and I'm going to use the end with the screw part on top because that just adds a little texture to my pumpkin using my miter box and saw, of course. And then I've got six sets of six inch embroidery hoops here and I'm going to split them apart. I'm going to add the smooth hoops to one pile and the hoops with the little screw into another pile. And now I'm taking my Dixie Belle chalk paint and chocolate and I'm going to paint my stem. And then I'm going to add some paint in a cup with some water to make like a little wash. And I'm going to go around and go ahead and paint all my embroidery pieces. I'm going to brush it on and then I'm going to wipe it right back off. Although later on, right at the end of the project, I decide to change the color. We'll get to that a little bit later. So paint it on, wipe it right off till you are completely done with all your hoops. Because I was going to keep it brown to make it a little more rustic. And then I decided I wanted a different rustic color. Now I'm going to sand the stem here a little bit with my 80 grit sandpaper and my sanding block to stress it up a little bit. Going to use Beacon Fabri-Tac glue today or you could use hot glue. This part is the most tedious. I started to just glue it on like this onto the stem, the embroidery hoops, and decided it might be a little easier if I add some glue to the middle of the stem as well. And then so what you're going to do is, and it takes a little bit, 
if especially if you're using like Fabri-Tac glue or liquid glue is you kind of got to you know add a little bit of glue onto your embroidery hoop and then you've got the glue on your stem and then you got to kind of hold them there a little bit and you're going to alternate the screw uh, hoop and then the plain hoop the screw hoop and the plain hoop now since I'm using six sets of embroidery hoops as I stack these around our stem because of the size of the stem I kind of have to overlap the hoops a little bit but if you did like five hoop sets or maybe even four you would have um, obviously less uh, pumpkin pieces but you probably would not have to overlap them of course but I wanted it a little bit fuller so I have to overlap the pieces here and hopefully you can see what I'm doing here with that how I'm overlapping them especially right here at the end Okay, now that's all done. I've already put rope around the bottom to kind of make that a little more decorative. And now you can see how I alternated the hoops. So we're gonna go ahead and add some rope down around along the uh, inside top of the pumpkin, but around the hoops. I'm not gluing it to the stem because what also I did is when I got all my embroidery hoops glued on, I added some glue right down here in the center and then of course all along the inside of the pumpkin and I'll show you that in a minute so I'm wrapping some string around and gluing it to the embroidery hoops again not to the stem to kind of cover up that glue and then also leave a little bit of space later for another piece I want to put in there so you can see how it's kind of glued to the outside and it'll kind of cover up all our mess we've made but still look decorative and then still leave room for a wire stem that I want to put in here in a little bit. And once I get to my last piece here, I'm just going to go ahead and glue it and kind of tuck it right down into the inside to kind of hide that end a little bit. Just like that. There we go. And now you can see what it looks like. Here's the wire stem. This is a grapevine wire I'm going to be using, $3.99 from Hobby Lobby. I've twisted it up and kind of twisted it to fit our stem in the center but I'm going to just kind of make sure I've got it nice and tight here to fit and then I'm going to slide it almost all the way on but not quite and then I'm going to go ahead and add some glue right down in the center so now you know why we didn't add our rope clear down in there and then slide that stem all the way down and just adding a little glue here and there to keep our wire grapevine on to the stem. Now I'm taking some of this nautical rope from Dollar Tree because there is tons of glue on those embroidery hoops on the inside and I want to cover that up and it didn't even take a full thing of rope and you just keep gluing and wrapping your rope all along down through the inside to cover up all your uh, glue. And plus it just gives it a little bit more of a rustic decorative look as well and will match how we wrap the bottom and, and the top as well. So you just keep doing that till you got it as much um, covered up as you want or need it to be. Okay, now we're taking some burlap leaves from Dollar Tree. I just take one and I cut it up into three pieces. All right, just like that. And then uh, got some already ready because I kind of pulled the string off the edge to distress them a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of glue the tips and then, and then put it right down in where that rope was, right down in the inside of that center. And that was another reason wrapping to the outside to the embroidery hoops because it gives us room to glue, like I said, the grapevine wire and these leaves. Just tucking it in there using some of this burlap ribbon although I'm going to use the lighter shade here and then some of this mesh tubing from Dollar Tree as well and I took the mesh tubing tied it around that uh, burlap to make a bow and a little bit more mesh tubing and just tied it into a knot and just adding a few pieces here and there this is some decorative kind of wired burlapy stuff I got on clearance at Walmart after Christmas last year just adding some of that in there you can add any kind of wire or anything like that any curly cues uh, that you want. Here's some pit berries uh, from Hobby Lobby, but I know that Dollar Tree, some Dollar Trees have the orange ones this year, or if you have the white ones left over from Christmas, those will work too. Tucking those in here, adding some of this brown twine from Dollar Tree and this gorgeous orange ribbon from Dollar Tree, and again, some of this wire uh, ribbon from Hobby Lobby, just tucking that in. Some of these wood leaves again, 
I'm going to be using some product from enablecase.com today. These are beautiful board laser cut chipboard pretty ivy in the size small. But first I'm going to go ahead and glue in some sisal right in there. I'm going to use a wood slice today with one of my printables. Now I've already traced the wood slice and then about an eighth of an inch in I drew a new perimeter and that's what I'm cutting out so that it fits just inside the wood slice. I've got some of these uh, acorns from uh, Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna go ahead and just paint the top of the acorn in that chocolate paint, Dixie Bell chalk paint in chocolate. And in the bottom half, I'm gonna bring out that wash again, that brown wash we used on bordery hoops. I'm just painting it on and wiping it right back off. Just one cute little acorn today, or you could use the acorns from Dollar Tree. They have just regular acorns ready to go. I'm sanding it to kind of give it a rustic look. I'm gonna distress my quote here, taking the open end of my scissor blade, scraping it along. And then I've got some new product here from Renee Bouquets. These are beautiful board laser cut chipboard, beautiful bits. These are called pumpkins. We'll be using one of these in our project today. And then this is just a vellum quote. You can get all these kind of fall quotes and stuff from the scrapbooking sections at the scrapbook stores. And then using a small clothespin and adding the quote to that cute Renee Bouquet pumpkin. I'm just adding all that together to the pumpkin kisses quote. And then we're gonna glue that right onto the wood slice. And I'm adding a little bit more of that grapevine wire here. I decided I wanna add a little bit more onto our stem and coming in with some of that Dollar Tree ribbon. I've already got it in a bow. I'm gonna just glue it right on. Adding some of this other beautiful Hobby Lobby ribbon already in a bow, gonna glue that on. Adding some of the brown twine again in a bow. Glue that right on. You can see how it's starting to look here a little bit. Then I'm gonna add one of those wood leaves. I'm gonna tuck it right in here one on each side and then adding in the uh, beautiful pretty ivy um, laser cut chipboard pieces here love how that looks gonna add our wood slice on here love how it's all coming together gonna add our cute rustic acorn here and here's where I decided to change the color. It just was all a little bit too brown, so I'm doing a little bit of an orange uh, shade here, and I am painting it on and then kind of wiping it right back off, and then I'm sanding it, giving it more of a distressed look. And once this is done, this project is complete. Let's move on to our last pumpkin, number three. So for this pumpkin, I'm gonna be using salvage wood pieces for my supply. They're about five inches wide, but about 15 inches tall, and I'm gonna cut them down to about nine inches. And I have two pieces for the bottom, and I'll cut off the outer edge. And then the center piece, I'm gonna cut off all four little edges here, just like this all the way around. That way the two bottom pieces will look rounded like a pumpkin and then the top piece will also look like a nice kind of oval shape for the center. So hopefully here just kind of laying them you can see what I've done uh, where I cut them down with just a saw. Okay, and then I sanded them with my electric sander. I just showed you the sanding block because that's what I had on hand, but I did with my electric sander. And now I'm gonna wood glue everything together here would glue these two bottom pieces which is the main pumpkin part here and I do go ahead and clamp it together for about a half an hour and then once that's all nice and set I'll go ahead and wood glue our little top oval piece here kind of give us a nice 3d look and then I will go ahead and clamp that down as well for about half an hour Once that's done, I've got this apple barrel spiced carrot and I'm using my Dixie Belle chocolate chalk paint. Made a nice rustic orange color. This, by the way, is the color I used on the embroidery hoop at the very end. And now I 
again use my electric sander and I'm going to be using my wood glue here we're going to use a stem and I'm going to use a part of a spindle here but you could use a piece of that um, plunger or a couple of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree and then I've got my grapevine wire here as well and I went ahead and used my wood glue off camera to glue that spindle on and now I'm bringing in that grapevine wire and gluing it right around the stem and kind of curling it up and these are some leaves from Dollar Tree of course uh, one of the leaf I traced it and then went in again about an eighth of an inch and then I'm cutting that on that new uh, border there so that part of that wood leaf will show and in one of the leaves I used wood filler and filled in the hole and then I've got a little heart shape here wood heart left over from Valentine's Day at Dollar Tree again using a wood slice and another little pumpkin phrase here and then I've got a couple of fall ephemera pieces here again you can pick those up from a uh, scrapbook section at like Hobby Lobby or Joanne just kind of look around I've got a little bit of ink here scrapbook ink I'm just kind of inking around the edges of my paper pieces and I'm going to go ahead on this one leaf and glue down my uh, paper here and those are papers I picked up these both of these uh, scrapbook papers at Hobby Lobby in the fall section these are some new pieces from Renee Bouquet's beautiful board laser cut chipboard they are a pumpkin patch set I'm using the small and as you see how thick it is here the chipboard is about the thickness of a nickel and they each come with a front piece and a back piece now so the smallest set I'm using I trace that back piece so I can add a little bit of cream colored cardstock to it and then I'm using my uh, Beacon Fabri-Tac glue here. It's just in a fine nose bottle, fine tip nose bottle, or however you want to say that, to glue the top piece on. And then I'm going ahead and doing a little wash on the leaves here, wiping it off. And then using the lighter color of the brown burlap from Dollar Tree, just kind of tucking it and making like a little bow and going to glue it right down at the bottom of my spindle stem here. Then uh, needed to do a little wash on the back of the leaf that had the paper on it because I realized that's going to show a little bit because it's going to stand off the edge a little bit. Stand off the edge, adding a little sisal here on top of our burlap. I'm going to add in this cute orange twine from Dollar Tree with this really pretty floral trim from Hobby Lobby. Some white twine from Walmart wood leaves from Joanne, some ephemera, scrapbooking ephemera, and cute clothespin from Dollar Tree and this crochet ribbon from Dollar Tree and an old tablecloth I like to rip up from my supply and some of these broomsticks from the Halloween section in Dollar Tree. I like to take the sticks off. Adds great texture on these rustic pumpkins. Just gonna kind of cut them down to size and spread them out. We'll go ahead and glue those on. Get them where we want them to be, adding in some wire rope. Wished our Dollar Tree got it in, but I had to buy mine at Hobby Lobby. I keep hoping they'll get that wire rope in. And then putting a little knot in the crochet trim, just because it's a little bit easier to kind of manipulate. And then adding that floral trim right on top there. And we're going to bring in some of the white crochet thread, ripping up that lacy tablecloth adds great texture. I love to do that. I've done it on quite a few of our projects lately. Just gives it that nice rustic feel. I'm going to add a little more sisal first before we put that uh, white twine bow on. I'm going to add a leaf on top here. I've already added the other leaf on the bottom of course. So we're going to lay the other leaf right up over the top a little bit and this wood leaf from Joann's we're going to tuck that in at the top I'm going to add our quote onto our wood slice and add our cute little ephemera piece here that says save the date so the thought process here is you know we're going to this uh, ephemera piece says order blank so it's like we're ordering fall save the date and I, this wood slice needs to set up just a little bit so I'm adding a little piece of cardboard at the bottom so it can kind of set up onto that wood leaf a little bit just like that and then we're going to add this little wood heart right up underneath that wood slice that'll help set it up as well and now we're going to go ahead and add our twine white twine and some more little brown twine right at the top of the wood slice here Add our little orange twine here 
And then we're going to add these little wooden pumpkins. I keep hoping our Dollar Tree would get them back in this year, the wood stickers, pumpkins, and leaves. But again, I had to buy mine at Hobby Lobby. Add our last little fall ephemera tag here. Ordering up our fall, adding our little clothespin onto our Rene Bouquet cute little laser cut chipboard here and our little vellum heart that says today. And once we get this glued on, this project is complete. I think the salvage wood pumpkin turned out so super cute. It's definitely my favorite for today. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which pumpkin was your favorite. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, hit that red subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video from me. Remember, I will have the pumpkin printables, a link to my blog where you can find those free printables down below in the description box, as well as links to the new pumpkin product I used from ReneeBouquets.com today. Also, I have a new favorite. Facebook group, Faith Chick 777's DIY by Design. It's a place where we can share our inspiration and ideas and tips and projects that we're working on. And a lot of you have been, you know, messaging me and showing me your products that you created from videos that you've seen me do. This is a perfect place for you to share those projects. Click on the link in the description box, ask to join the group. I'd love to see you there. Come follow me on Instagram, trying to build that up. I thank you for sharing your time with me, and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye.